thank you so much, Jacob and Manny, for uh, agreeing to speak to us about your new book, The Interpreter. Um, I'm just wondering, at first, maybe you could just start off by just telling us a bit about yourself and your background. I understand that you're not just a novelist. <laughs> I'm not a novelist at all. I'm a novelist by accident. Okay, uh, how's that? I'm an interpreter by training, mm -hmm. and my, my work was to translate mm -hmm. uh, languages in uh, simultaneous translation. Mm -hmm. But I always uh, liked writing. Writing was my... Mm -hmm. Well, obsession, I should say, since I was young. I succeeded very late in life. I was 40 when I published 40. my first novel. Now it is my second activity. It is something I do for pleasure. And in the end, I prefer like that, because it is not a duty, it is not a, a true profession. I, I remained a translator for a very short time, actually. Uh, I, I became later a, what we call a policy officer at the European Union. Would you say that your profession, um, your daytime profession, does that inspire your, your writing, your books? Yes, th there is. Uh, th there is a, how should I say, a contamination mm. between <laughs> my job and my, my hobby as a, as a writer. I am not just the ordinary uh, grey suit uh, officer of the European Union. I have uh, new ideas, uh, fresh ideas that my my superiors appreciate. And moving on to more about your books now themselves, I understand that the book you're, um, you're promoting at the moment, The Interpreter, is the final in a trilogy of books around the concepts of language and identity. Trilogy is too serious. Uh, actually, it happens to be three books I wrote about language, because this is the subject of many of my reflections. Mm. Working for Europe, you ask yourself, what is Europe? Mm. What is a European? Am mm. I a European or just uh, the same old Italian I was when <laughs> I arrived in Brussels 30 years ago? I'm very interested in, you have these sort of questions and these ideas which seem very profound, but then how would you put that into a really fascinating storyline? This is the work of the writer. Mm. I, I try, first of all, what I, what I need to have to start writing is a plot. So then I start from the plot and I invent characters that serve my purpose. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to explore, or well, in this book I explore the uh, uh, character of uh, an interpreter that speaks many different languages and this has an effect on uh, his, uh, um, how should I say, mental stability. Mm. Then I invented a story where he evolves, uh, mm -hmm. looking for something I cannot tell now, <laughs> and which is the, uh, the, the plot of the mm -hmm. novel. You said that you didn't have perhaps the conventional route into being an author, and that you did other things first. Uh, well, what, what advice would you give them to people who have this dream of being a writer? Write. Write. Write, <laughs> write uh, uh, exercise. Write mm -hmm. stories, invent stories. Mm -hmm. The more you write, mm -hmm. the more you, you will be it will be likely you become a writer. <laughs> yes, read, because uh, it is reading that you learn how to write. Write and read. This is all what you have to do.